So look, we 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 we're certain guys, right? And we like to groom ourselves. Yeah. yeah. So in certain times when we when we grooming ourselves, you know, you gotta be particular. You gotta take care of yourself, right? The only way you can really take care of yourself is by presence. What? Presence beer kit. You know what I mean, it got yeah. everything you need. All of the, the two yeah. essentials. Yeah. This, this joint in here, bro, it got a comb. Yeah. It got the beer bomb. Yeah. Yeah. It got the show beer, the beer bonnet. bomb. Show them the beer bomb. They got the beer bomb. Show, show them the oil. Show them the oil. Yeah. They got the, oh, shit, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. They got the dust bag. Dust bag. Yeah, look, look. Everything got the beer with, oil. So, so it's a different thing when you're dealing with that. So Comb. presence is where it's at. You want to get sure. your beer right. You want to get your beer together. You want to be able to sleep right. You want to be able to be good. You want to get the oil, the Nikes, the essence, the smell. You want your wife to be like, mm. You know what I'm saying? Presence. Presence. Beer kit. Yo, use that special beers and bottles promo code. Just use that now. 25% off. It's at the bottom of this. 25% off. Use the beers and bottles promo code. All right? So, Presence Beer Kit. It's us. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, moving things forward, you know, um, you know, where did it come in with the music? Like you been you was game banging at the time, where you like, yo, I'm gonna start fucking with the music. What was the thought pattern behind that? Is See, that I, um, how did it work out for you? Well, music, my step pops really started me rapping. How old were you? Mm, probably like nine. Dang. Nine, ten, when I really was like fucking with rap. The first rap I ever memorized was Tupac Hit Him Up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to I'm going to Great school. Great record. Great yeah. record. I'm going to school rapping that shit like it's mine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and a nigga who um one of the counselors, he's like, man, they say you rapping. Let me hear that shit. So I rap Tupac. He said, man, why you rapping Tupac shit, man? Get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> 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 Serve me. You know what I'm saying? But after he served me, though, I started trying to write my own shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, the first rap I ever wrote, it was a remake to um, this game banging song called uh, 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 Like That and All Like This. It's a, it's a blood nigga named B. Brazy. That was like a, uh, it was a, a big song. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? So locally. I bet, yeah, locally. Yeah. So I, um, they, caught the, um, he, they caught the relatives, the name of their group. But his mm -hmm. name B. Brazy. He a um, Damu rapper from Crenshaw. Um, I don't know if he lands in Crenshaw Mafia, one of them, but they was clicked up at the time. Right. So, um... That song was really booming, so I really kind of took that flow, and really that's when I first made my own, own 16. Right. You wrote you know what what age was this that you wrote your first? Huh? What age was this when you wrote your first 16? Probably like 10. Dang. You know what I'm saying? And then, but my first time recording in the studio was with my step pops. My step pops used to rap. He used to rap um, street shit, and then he started rapping gospel. You know mm. what I'm saying? So that's who the first person to take me to the studio. How old was you? What year? My first year going to the studio, well, I was 13. Matter of fact, he took me for my birthday. That was one day. Yeah, he took you me for my birthday. You got us. You got us. My mom's mad immediately. <laughs> you got him cussing? Let cuz do his thing. Let cuz. Get a little nigga drink. Get a little nigga drink is nuts. Yeah, it's funny. My first rap name was Bad Luck. Bet. That's a good name. Mm. I ain't gonna even lie to you. That's mm. all right, right? That's a bad. That's yeah, a that was my first rap name, Bad Luck. But my mama knew the game was going on because I spelled my luck with two C's instead of CK. So, so she already knew Immediately. Way. Immediately. And what she was saying? Where you think you from? My mom game bang. Nigga getting caught with the shit on the folder, yeah. hats, <laughs> clothes. And my mama grew up in the set. My mama grew up. So on, she knows. She knows what's going mm. on. When I got put on, I tried to tell my pops I got jumped in my hat. He said, nah, nigga, you got put on. I heard about it already. My pops grew up on 81st and Dinker. That's right in the heart of the set. Yeah. So, oh, he, he ate straight too? No, nah, my, my, my pops don't gang bang, but my pops got, my pops is, is out of the three brothers, he the one that don't bang. He got a brother from 60s, mm -hmm. and then he got a brother from 7 for Hoover. Mm. So he already knows, oh, what's, crib, he knows what's going crib. on. Yeah. yeah. He he already knows what's going real on. Pops. That's my real pops. Yeah. And you be having that, still be having those type of conversations, you have the conversations with him now? Man, my, my pop's my guy. Oh, all right. He showed love. Guy. For sure. Yeah. Pop's doing real estate right now. You fucking around in Atlanta. And you ain't about to jump in with him? Am I? As soon yeah. as I get the bag. You gotta go crazy with what? him. What? He told me the next time I touch 20, bring it here. 
Don't buy the chain. Don't buy the watch. Bring me the 20. I got you. Real nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's all you got to do. You got to move some shit around and do what yeah, you got to do. Yeah, he definitely was on me. He was like, when you got out of, when you got out of the feds, you start touching that money, he said, I already knew you was going to go through your through your phase. You, you was just down. You was having him your way before you went. I knew you was going to blow through some money. But now you understand what's going on. When you touch 20, come holler at me. I got you. That's dope. That's dope. Mm -hmm. So what's the, what's the next move? Moving the music and and you know you traveling over the East Coast. How did that connection come about? Okay, the connection came about from um, Chef G and Sleepy when they came to LA in 2019. They're my guys. Mm -hmm. Like, so in 2019 I was still on federal paper. I just got out from doing um, seven years. So when they came in 2019, they really was like hearing my music and 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 germ which is the um, executive for Winter Circle. Shout out to Jerm, Whitey. You know what I'm saying? Them, my guys, Jerm, Whitey, Just, the my dudes. So they heard the music and it was like, shit, man, we need you to, you know what I'm saying? Come on. I'm on federal paper. I can't do nothing about it at the time. So once I got off federal paper, once I did this violation, I said, man, I'm coming, in, I'm coming to these coasts. I'm trying to make it make sense. So that's really how that came about. You came to the Ace Couch just doing the music, doing the music with them. Yeah. And what, 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 where's your situation at with them now? When that they move on? Right now, basically, I got access to all of um, all of the resources, like the relationships. I'm just not under contract. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But everything I'm doing, they'll they'll support it. You know what I'm saying? They'll help me do it. They'll guide me through it. You know what I'm saying? But as far as like funding that's that's all me that's i do that yeah, yeah. Doing, yeah i'm definitely independent and so what's your what's your mindset and what's the goal what do you think like yo what's gonna be next for me well you talking about big goals or just no, we, we talking about intermediate into big goals like okay so, so as of now well, well my next six months what i plan on doing is setting up a rollout for my singles that i got really getting on all the big platforms like like y'all's you know what i'm saying and um really just getting my face out there because I already know, like, I got the material. It's not really too many people who hear my music yeah. that don't. You had, yo, Ball always played me a record. You was a record. Y'all was, like, at a dope-ass house. And in, in, in the house that y'all was at, it was all your homies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the year we went viral. Oh, yeah, 20, you, you can pull what, it up. Um, what's it called? That, that's, called that's called H-Ray Gangsta The Real. AJ, that's, bro, that. Check, bro. Check, hey, yo, check while we listen to this, make this a clip. Make the AJ, what's it called? What's it called? H-Ray Gangsta The Real. The Real. Mm -hmm. Bro, that record right there, that record right there was crazy, bro. Play that record real quick. To play it for they can hear it real quick. When you plurge did that joint... He the video. I, you know what it was? I think because I, I seen the video first. Mm. Yeah. And I, you know I'm crip, so I seen all the homies. The shit just made me like, <laughs> oh shit. And 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 ball was like, yeah, what you think about Cub? And I'm listening to it. And what that came out like a year or two ago. I dropped it two years ago. Yeah. I really that's that's the that's the second song I recorded when I got out of prison. Right. Mm. So that's. This, he's like, he's mm -hmm. like, cuz crazy. He's like, this cuz, that was that had to be two years ago. He was like, and he let me see. No, I just, no, I'm gonna tell you, it's, it's a whole situation with that. Okay, so in 2020, when we had that, that's the mention, the, the, the video was shot at our hood day. We had a mansion in um, Beverly Hills. It was in Beverly Hills. It was in Beverly Hills. It was a beautiful house, bro. For sure. So at the time, you know, that's the pandemic. Mm -hmm. We rented the house and they wanted to shut it down, but they couldn't. Mm. We already got permission to, to do this. So now that's what really made us go viral, that they tried to shut our function down and they couldn't. Mm. Nothing they can do about it. But it's a hood day. It's shit going on. Yeah. You niggas know what I'm saying? Niggas coming home and shit like that. Shit like that. <laughs> niggas coming home, niggas, niggas getting deep Niggas big. putting niggas on the day day. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas don't understand. Look, when you hood, hood day, day. Is, <laughs> it's the day the hood was birthed, right? So... A lot of people don't know that. Like, so when GL came home, one of the hood days, ours came home, one of the hood days, a lot of niggas came home, one of the hood days, and those days are special days, right? And those days, a niggas is not gonna never, ever forget. Nah, most and definitely. And sometimes, in those hood days, it'd be barbecues, chilling. they'd be different spots, just chilling, and it's niggas just... Niggas having walk-offs. Niggas right. definitely right, for sure. Now, but this one, <laughs> y'all can Google this, man. We set the bar, man. The H-Ray Gangsta set the bar for your hood day, 2020. Been doing it. You know what I'm saying? They know when your hood day come up, you got to have a mansion, you got to have a forest, and you got to have a bitches. <laughs> got to have a big dice games. Mm -hmm. We going to have all that. For sure. But yeah, man. Um, Money was for sure out there. It was crazy out there. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. That one right Bro. there. Bro. 
Play, 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 play it real quick. Baby, grump about me. Shit is getting slumped. See, when you're pressing the line, there's no discrimination. In the 80s, you get graded off participation. You talk a good one, but for real, he ain't shooting Nathan. Nathan. I've been at County Cubs, was claiming that he wasn't banging. He ain't no artist, but in that courtroom, man, was he singing. For these type of actions, I ain't no explaining. Big side gone. Baby, 